Adobe has been in the news lately for the subscription model and how users are being charged massive cancellation fees. Honestly, their pricing can be a bit overkill. Adobe's attitude feels like you should be grateful for using our product and if you cancel, you deserve to be punished. So people who don't want to deal with that are left with two options becoming a pirate or find alternatives. But jokes aside, Adobe is still the industry standard for creative professionals. So if you're working in a serious production pipeline or agency, chances are you're using Adobe. Not everyone has a budget or maybe you're just looking for affordable options or simpler versions of Adobe tools. If that sounds like you, stick around till the end of this video. I did some through research and even tried few of this myself. We are going to look at alternatives for the top Adobe products, Photoshop, Premiere Pro and Illustrator. First one is Photoshop. People usually use Photoshop for photo editing and design. So in that regard, Definitely Photo is the closest alternative I could find. It has almost all the features Photoshop offers. So functionally, it's a strong match. It got layers, masks, adjustment tools, retouching, blend modes, filter, and all the essentials. For 90% of the tasks, you won't feel like you're missing out. However, it does lack some things like a built-in image catalog, a photo organizer, and AI generative field. But overall, it's an extremely powerful and solid replacement for Photoshop with a one-time purchase and no subscriptions. Now, I couldn't find any tools that offers a robust AI generative feel like in Photoshop, but there are a few workarounds, for example, in Krita, which is another Photoshop alternative. It's an open source and completely free tool, especially powerful if you are into digital painting and illustration, but it also holds up pretty well for basic photo editing. If you're looking for a generative feel like in Photoshop, Krita has a plugin called Krita AI Diffusion. It's open source and free, and the best part is that it's uncensored, like Photoshop. The setup isn't super straightforward, but it's worth checking out. And there's a bonus, which is GIMP. It's pretty powerful for image editing and has a lot of features, but the UI is kind of outdated and might not work well for some people. Still, check it out and see it for yourself. Now, for Premiere Pro. This one is easy, so the best alternative is DaVinci Resolve. It's on par with Premiere Pro and is actually used in Hollywood too. Not just for editing, but also color grading and visual effects. There is a free version and ton of professional features like multi-cam editing, keyframing, transitions, audio mixing and effects, titles and basically everything you'd expect from Premiere Pro. The only real difference is that some extra AI tools and noise reduction features are in paid version, which is DaVinci Resolve Studio. But honestly, for 90% of the creators, the free version is more than enough. If you do go for the pro version, it's a one-time payment and no subscription. Also, if you're on a Mac, another great option is Final Cut Pro. It's only on Mac OS and it's also a one-time purchase. A lot of YouTubers and creators love it because of how smooth and optimized it is, especially on Apple Silicon Macs. Now, for the last tools, which is Illustrator, the best alternative I could find is Affinity Designer. It's super responsive, supports both Factor and Raster workspace, and it's great for UI design, branding, and illustrations. Just like Illustrator, it has pen tools, shapes, artboard, gradients, layers, snapping, and all the essentials. And like Affinity Photo, it's a one-time payment as well, so no subscriptions, no surprise fees, and no cancellation fees. In fact, in some cases, the performance feels much smoother than Illustrator. You can export in SVGs, EPS, PDFs, everything you'd expect. It doesn't support vector wrap, mesh gradients, or real-time cloud collaboration, but for most solo designer or freelancer, Affinity Designer is more than enough. Second option is Inkscape, which is completely free and open source. It's not as polished as Affinity in or Illustrator, but it has a huge set of features for vector work. If you are okay with an older UI and a bit of learning curve, this tool can do a lot from node editing, busier curves, SVG exports, and even custom extensions. Some people even use it professionally, especially in the Linux design community. If you want a free vector design tool, definitely check out Inkscape. So that's about it. If this video helped you, don't forget to smash the like button and see you in the next one.